I guess I'll just do my poem. <clears throat> Sorry. Huh? This is the first time I'm performing this. It's kind of uh, personal. <laughs> Thanks for the support. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. Okay. Uh, okay. Disclaimer. This is a poem about a beautiful bodied woman learning to grasp her heart so that she can hear everything that it has to say. When she catches it in her hand like goldfish, she wants to come to terms with this loss. This claims her. Her heart. Writing isn't easy. Wraps around her like Velcro whips her back into a submission of silence as she notices the blank pages that aren't drowning in a flood of ink but remain lifeless like her hands with a pen in her grasp. Her head aches with the ideas of his hands rubbing on her belly for warmth as she wishes he was still here but all she hears is the whispers in the wind that she mistakes for his. Waiting to be moved by elephant emotions, stampeding across rivers of pages, but she slows down to a stop to catch a breath because she has not covered a single page with a memory. It was all written in invisible ink, taken with the camera lens of her eyes, but there were only flashes as she flashed back to his last moments. Disclaimer, in a body, inside a mind, there's a battle between human and the soul as she fights every breath with his, trying to breach into reality in between heaving breaths and coming to terms with this world as a dying dinosaur. He has gotten old, a Tyrannosaurus Rex in her eyes with slits of darkness in between the light. She reaches out once again for the ink to write down her painful, fleeting thoughts. This claims her. Simple scribble jungles made with marks of pen as she tries to get the reminders out of her head because she can't help but think of him now being dead. The man in between the pages of a chapter of her life, her husband. She has memorized his image down to the wrinkles of his face to those on his deathbed, creating an empty illusion that he is still there, wishing that his coffin would cough him up so she could just talk to him instead of this audience of blank pages. Back into this world, with her in his arms, but all that remains is this elegant embodiment that we call words. Disclaimer, these thoughts claim her, the fact that her husband is gone, and now her life is null and void like those marriage documents. Mm. Looking through the window of her soul, this widow tries to find somewhere behind pain and happiness, bittersweet memories in order to write his eulogy. Woo!